Man to beat, heading into the final round. How's it feel? Oh, it feels great. Um, I think that was the excitement on the putt of the last hole. It kept me bogey free and um, you know, kept me in the lead. You always want to be the guy being chased. Are you feeding off of this crowd? I mean, it's a little larger crowd than usual, but there were a lot of people cheering for you as you walked up 18 to yeah. sign your scorecard. Yeah, we had a great atmosphere on the last three or four holes there. Um, you know, the roar when I made the putt on 16 was fantastic. And, you know, like you said, that crowd there on the run of 18 is always special. So uh, such a great venue here at uh, TBC John Deere. What would it mean to join Brian Harmon as another bulldog to win this thing? I love that. You know, uh, I know he had he got his first win here. Chris Kirk's played awfully well here before. Russell Henley's come close. So, you know, I think we all play pretty well at similar places. So it's time to get it done. You know, there's um, five guys that are at the house this year within three or four shots of the lead right now. Um, you're, they kick you out? <laughs> you know, uh, my family came Tuesday to Thursday, so it was fun to spend some time with them. Didn't want to put them through the, the uh, debauchery of the house. So we got a hotel in, uh, in Moline. And, um, you know, it's been a great week so far. And it's pretty cool how well that house is playing. Yeah. Um, with a leaderboard like this, what's the thought? I mean, it's uh, so Yeah, it's just, it's just head down and make birdies. You know, it's, it's going to be hard to run away and hide here, but that's the goal. I mean, anybody who's within three shots of the lead is looking to go as low as they can. So uh, there's certainly going to be no defense for me tomorrow. It's going to be the same, same stuff. You know, if I've got a wedge in my hand, I'm going for it. And uh, par fives, you got to make birdies. And a little bit longer club, you know, you can hit it on the green, you have a chance. It was a little tougher this afternoon than it was yesterday? Definitely. Yeah, I mean, yesterday I had virtually no wind. And, uh, yeah, today it was blowing pretty good. So I thought there were pretty good scores considering the wind today. But, uh, you know, you get on these greens, they're rolling so good. I think guys are making putts. Was the wind unfamiliar? Or is it? Um, not really. Okay. You know, I think I've probably played that win once a year here for a while. Okay. So, pretty common. Any different mentality with the leaderboard as stacked as it is right now for you? You, you mentioned, you know, keeping it going here. How tough is that going to be for you tomorrow? Is that going to have to be something different, a different mindset for you on a Sunday? Not necessarily. You know, um, three and a half years ago when I won back to back, you know, I shot maybe 62 in Bermuda and 67 or something on Sunday in Mayakoba. So I think um, most of the time out here, you're going to have to put up a good round on Sunday to win. And, you know, this, like you said, it's a very bunch leaderboard with a bunch of great players who are looking to go low. The winner could come from anywhere. And so I'm going to have to go out there and, you know, treat it like I'm just in the bunch trying to shoot the lowest score. Do you have a number in mind or is that part of your no, no, I haven't thought about that, and okay. there you can't put a number on it. I mean, this golf course has given up a 59 before, so virtually you know anybody can shoot any score out there tomorrow. The putt at 16, when obviously you make something like that, that's that's a bonus. What what did you kind of see with with that there? Well, I I just remember because I always hit it in practice that it's it keeps hooking a lot once it gets over that ridge. So it's not a putt where you get it up over the ridge and it goes down and straightens out. I mean, you've got to get it you've got to hit it firm to get it up the ridge. And as it breaks left, it better be high so it can keep coming over. So, you know, really for me, the goal was let's not let it get low and start rolling away from the hole. Let's keep it on the high side and see if we can't drip it in. And that's what happened. It was just fantastic. Did you think it had a chance? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the whole way there, it was looking just awesome. It really came down to speed. And somehow I got the speed right. Thanks, guys. Oh, yes, sir. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Brendan. Brendan.